Hello, welcome back. Today, we have a very special guest. We are going to learn some papiamento. So, I give the word to you, special guest. Please tell us who you are, a little bit about yourself. Hi, uh, my name is Rivianka. I'm a Ruben. Uh, I'm currently studying professional translation at the University of Utrecht in the Netherlands. Um, yeah, so I'm honored to be asked to teach some of my dear language to all of you. So yeah, let's have some fun. <laughs> the honor is all ours to be learning some. So yeah, so let's, um, yeah, let's kind of deconstruct it a bit because I feel like Papimento is a language that like not a lot of people, one, know exists, which is a great shame. And two, I feel like it's kind of something you learn by living there, but it's not really taught that much, especially not outside, right? Yeah, indeed. It's more like if you go live on the islands, you can live without it, but you would, you would, like, the locals would appreciate it if you would learn how to speak it. And there are courses that you can take, and people have successfully survived in Aruba with, uh, with that, so. <laughs> Absolutely. Do you hear? It's appreciated. Go learn it. <laughs> Here's a brief introduction, <laughs> right? So, um, by the way, if you've studied Spanish or Portuguese, it will be very similar. It's a, it's a related language. Um, if we were to do a full sort of course on it or something, you would see that there are also influences from English and Dutch, of course, and other, many other languages, I think you'd agree. Um, yes, indeed. But the core vocabulary is based on uh, Spanish and Portuguese. So if you speak either of those languages, You'll, have a, you'll be finding a lot of similarities. So, um, bridging from that, I like Spanish because it'll be very similar, I think, is what I like. I like is mi gusta. Mi gusta, okay. So, um, yeah, uh, we can like lots of different things, right? So, we can like to go places. So, how do you say I like to go? Um, without, you would you know, say we'll, we'll just do it without an ending. Sorry? Me gusta by. Me gusta by. Okay. And then you can fill it in. Exactly. Yeah, so I, I spoke over you for a second. But what I want to say, of course, is, you know, some of these will be a bit artificial, of course, because we're just building up uh, block, by, block by block by block. Um, yes. So um, I think you were telling me off camera earlier that... Um, a, a good way to say the beach is, you can say beach, I think, right? But a good way to say it is sort of like the sea almost, and that would be? And the the sea in Pavimento is Lama. Lama. So so, you, some, sometimes we, we borrow just from English, so you can just say the beach and people will understand. But you can say Lama. So, okay. Me gusta by Lama. For instance, if you like to I go. like going to the beach. Yeah, which yeah. I think a lot of people do, especially if they're uh, visiting... A lovely island, of course. Indeed. Um, how about um, food? Food's another thing we can really like. Uh, so what's the word for food? Cominda. So you could, in theory, say, I like food, right? Yes. Me gusta cominda. Nice. And who doesn't, of course. <laughs> who doesn't, yes. You need it to survive. <laughs> Absolutely. We don't photosynthesize. Not yet, at least. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> yeah. How, how, do you, how do you say Aruban in, in Papimento? Uh, Aruban is Arubiano. Nice. So I think it would follow from there. We could say, I like Aruban food. Me gusta comida Arubiano. Nice. And I think that a lot of people will be saying that once they've uh, taken a trip to the island, right? Yep, true. Fresh fish, funchi, a bunch of food. You'll love it. Amazing. Amazing. Um, hmm. How would you say, like, is there a way to be like really expressive? Like, I really like something. Mm, really if like you say that, food. then you would borrow from Dutch. I feel like you would say mi echt gusta comida rubian. So echt in, in, in Dutch means sort of really, sometimes almost means really. truly, but it's like really, you know, yeah, really, something's echt, very. it's real. Yeah, so really, it's kind of the same metaphors in English, like real and really. Um, mm. 
so okay so so um hey well so you're getting uh some dutch for free in this um so <laughs> so i i really like uh a reuben food how would that be then or me echt gusta cominda rubiano nice me echt gusta cominda rubiano and that's true in your case right <laughs> yes delicious yeah. especially by my grandmother <laughs> of course um how about uh french me gusta comida francés nice so i like french food in this case um i like japanese food me gusta comida japonés nice um so yeah so we could we could go through a full list of nationalities of course i mean we won't but yeah. um, you you get the idea and of course you can always look up separate nationalities but this is really the pattern there um yeah um i like to go to the beach how about um what's what's to swim landa one more time sorry landa 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 mm. landa nice um so i like i like to swim me gusta landa nice me gusta landa so yeah more stress on Perfect. the first yeah Cool, yeah. cool. So, um, you say I like to swim. Um, how would you say uh, to, to eat? Come. 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 Mm. So, could you say something like, I like to eat a Reuben food? Mi gusta come cominda rubiano. Is that a sort of natural enough sentence? Yes, that's totally how it is. Mi gusta come nice so we can use these building blocks to keep on the uh, yeah keep on building so it's like when you want to specify a type of cuisine you just add the nationality behind cuminda nice like cuminda francis cuminda japones cuminda hollandes which is yeah. dutch food yeah hollandes like yeah. sort of holland-ish almost it sounds like right Hollandaise. yes yeah um nice okay um <sighs> So we're talking about going earlier. I mean, where else could we? Could you mm -hmm. do you use the same verb for like a restaurant? Could you go to a restaurant, for instance? Me está bailando un restaurant. Okay, so I'm going to a restaurant. Yeah, I'm going to a restaurant. So, so there's this. Um, yeah, because we we just mentioned sort of like to go in the abstract earlier. So. Mm. Um, Normally, right, in, in Papiamento, you kind of say, like, in English, like, I am going, or you are going, she or he is going, yeah. whatever, in this kind of continuous um, tense, right? So, um, yeah. how would you say, um, I'm, I'm going, just by itself? Mi ta bailando. Bailando. So Mi it's this, ta bailando. Right. Mi is I, right? That yes. tells you that it's, like, happening now, currently. I think yeah it's like is yeah, yeah is it's, or it's, am it's setting up the 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 kind of presentness right the happening now situation yeah it's happening now um, yeah so meet that and then um the bayendo um, yeah bayendo and so then bay is sort of like the go bit and then it's again another indication at the end yendo that it's um happening now basically it's happening yeah yeah so um um what what what's you? Uh, abo or bo. Okay, so you have different options. I I imagine context tells you what to use, right? Yes, like it's the same with I. So I I've been using me, mm -hmm. but you can also say ami. Okay, interesting. So yes. um, if I said uh, or if one would say like you are going, uh, what would that be? Mm, uh, me would well, be the right. natural way but if you want to if you want to say like specifically like putting emphasis you use mm. ami so okay like, uh, me like i'm going right right Somewhere. but what about for like you you are going you um bota bayendo. Bota bayendo. okay or if you want to say like specifically you like okay you're going there i'm going here it, it will be a bota bayendo, 
a mí está bañando. Ah, ok. So it's, re- so it's kind of like really for stressing the, the person, like you were saying. Yes, so, I think it's for stressing, especially. Like, like, then I'm you use the a in front of it. Oh, sorry. Yeah. A mí. A mí. Mm. That's like putting emphasis on the fact that me as a person is going this place. But usually we just use me. It's like, mm-hmm. oh, I'm I'm going. Me está bañando. Okay. Okay, so how how would you say something then like, um, um, how, well, how would you say because, like giving a reason? Paso. Sorry? Paso. Paso? Mm-hmm. Um, Paso. Nice. And how would you say, um, like, I, I'm going because... Mi está bañando, pasó. It's actually, pasó is, is an abbreviation of pasobra. You can oh, also say pasobra. Pasobra. But then mm. usually people shorten it, you're saying. Yeah, pasó. Oh, okay. Uh, how, how about something like, I feel we have the building blocks to say something like, I am going to the beach because I like going to the beach, which sounds very silly, of course, right? I mean, this, mm. you know, this is a bit almost like computer talk, but I think it's nice to show us that in theory, you could start to build like longer and longer build. sentences. Yeah. Yeah. Just for so the sake like, of it. So it's like, mi ta bayendo la ma, pa sobra, mi gusta la ma. Nice. Mi ta bayendo la ma, which means I'm going to the beach. Paso mi gusta la ma, because I like the beach. Nice, nice. Um, you know, I feel like this, in our generation, a lot of people around the world who start to say, like, why are you doing something? Yeah, well, because, because this, you know, because internet, because I like, you know. Yeah. So I feel like it's a, it's a nice little example for people. Um, uh, I, going back to I like, um, what's something else we can like? We can like tea. Me gusta te. Me gusta te. That's exactly what I want to say all day because I love tea. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. One of my many teapots here. Some more in the background. <laughs> um, um, how, how would you say uh, coffee as well then, of course? Coffee. Coffee, okay. It's the same. So, me gusta coffee. Me gusta coffee. Uh, uh, coffee. And then you're talking to me because I like coffee. <laughs> exactly. Um, could I say, um, how, how would I say you, you like coffee, actually? Uh, abo gusta te. Abo gusta te. Uh, coffee. Ah, coffee. Uh, yeah. Abo gusta coffee. Abo, yeah. But yeah, exactly. If you're talking literally to me, of course, I like tea. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, oh, yeah. Okay, interesting. So, um, how, how do you say, but... Pero. Pero, yeah. Similar to Spanish, of course. Yes. Again, you're Similar getting free, Spanish, yes. free other languages if you pay close attention. Yes, indeed. <laughs> um, so we could say something as well, like, I like tea, but you like coffee. Would we then use the stressed forms of... Uh, yes, you? you would use the stressed forms. It would be, a mi gusta coffee, pero a vos gusta te. Nice. Yeah. Okay, very cool. Um, I think that this is probably enough to chew on for now for a lot of people. Yeah. Um, I'm very happy to to do something like this again and uh, learn a bit more uh, mental from you um, and for the benefit of everyone. Um, so I guess one last thing to ask how to say before we end would be um, uh, thank you. How do we say this? Danke. Danke. Um, Danke. And Thank you and goodbye. Danke y ayo. Danke y ayo. Danke y ayo. Woohoo. Okay. So thank you very much. And um, that's it for this time. And we're happy to do it again. But um, yeah, I hope you are now curious to learn something more about the various islands in which uh, Papiment has spoken and specifically about Aruba, as uh, Rivi, you are from Aruba. Um, yes. And- <laughs> Now you know that this language exists if you didn't before. And if you did, I hope that you learned something more about it. Thank you very much for teaching us some.
Danke. Danke, ja, jo. Ajo. Ajo.